Hi, everybody! Okay, so this video is coming out a bit late because other things had my attention and I needed to record some other videos, which will either already be up on the channel or will be up very shortly. Anyways, last month I wasn't all that impressed with the PS Plus lineup. I had predicted August wasn't going to be all that hot either. Editor Goto, roll the clip and feel free to promote your editing services. Hey everyone, Editor Goto here. Always happy to promote my services for you guys. Uh, link will be down below and he did call it. Uh, clip will be running very very shortly happy he called it because I am very disappointed in these friggin games uh, honestly they could kick the bin I'd be happy and August is likely to not be all that great either so what games do we have this month it's actually quite a diverse range of games and that makes me happy we're going to start off with the game I am least happy about of the trio Okay, I enjoy golf games. They're games where I spend time relaxing with my dad. If we're gaming together, we're either playing a sports game or a racing game of some type. I already had PGA Tour 2K23 as I'd grabbed it at a cheap price for my dad's birthday in January, so I'm a little disappointed this game is one of the free games this month. It's like any sports game I grab lately gets added to the free lineup. Anyways, I haven't played this game yet because I keep forgetting to install it. But overall, I'm not the happiest about this game being added to the lineup, though I imagine a lot of people will be happy with this option. When I do get to this game, I'm actually really excited to fiddle around with the Course Creator. This is a feature I wish racing games would incorporate because it would just be super fun to fool around with. Does anyone else remember when N64 games would feature course editors and similar things? But yeah, this game is a really average option and does have me a little bit disappointed. And not just because I bought it previously. Oh well, I am a hell of a lot more happy with the other two games we're getting this month, so let's move on to the next one. Dreams is the next game on the list, and I am super happy with this one because I had wanted to experience for a long time. I'm a longtime fan of the Little Big Planet games, and with this game, you can see Media Molecule iterated on the Little Big Planet formula with Dreams. They took it to the next level, as the player base can now essentially make a full game, not just a small level. Effectively, with Dreams, you're able to play a near infinite number of games for the price of one. Sure, they'll all be a varying quality, but it's a very nice feature to have. I could see myself playing this title when I have no idea what I want to play and just want to sample various things. Have you played around in Dreams though? If so, let me know in the comments some games built within Dreams you think are amazing and I'll check them out. Also, if you've created a game in Dreams, what are some of your favorite features to fool around with? Let me know in the comments. I know that I'll definitely be looking for platformers and racing games mostly when I boot this up, and I'll be willing to try out anything. I really love that Sony did something as unique as Dreams, as it really is the type of toolkit budding game developers need, as it'll make it clear if they enjoy the process or not. If they had something like this available when I was a preteen or teenager, I would have learned far quicker that I did not like game development. I did attend a game developer camp when I was 15 or so, and I made two games. One was a Pong clone. I have no idea what I made for the other game, but it was hard, arduous, and gave me migraines. Funny how things have changed. Anyways, let's discuss the final game next. Death Store is a game I've wanted to check out since it was first announced for PC and Xbox consoles but I had put off buying it because it was never cheap enough. Now that it's free on PlayStation Plus, I have no reason to not check it out. It's an action-adventure game, which is always something I enjoy. Also, it has a topic I'm tangentially interested in. I really enjoyed the novel On a Pale Horse by Piers Anthony, which also deals with the topic of the Grim Reaper. So, Death Store has my interest just for that alone. I'm definitely going to review this game on this channel, so keep your eyes open for that. If you've played Death Sore, let me know in the comments section, because I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Either way, this game is a strong entry, and it's one I can't wait to play just because it's a genre of game I like, and the topic and aesthetics are ones that interest me. So yeah, I'm happy because this is the type of stuff Sony needs to do more of with the service. Games that harken back to yesteryear, or games that have unique aesthetics. For the most part, people who want to play games like PGA, NBA, COD, etc. are going to have bought them ASAP. If Sony offers more unique experiences like Death Store and Dreams, then they're going to put in more value to the service as those are games people likely won't have bought already. So those were just some of my thoughts on this month of PlayStation Plus games. 
What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, why not check out two of my previous videos popping up on screen now? Until next time, keep blazing that trail.